Welcome ladies and gents to the Good Bit Podcast. We are here. Thank you very much for joining us today on this fine, fine evening, day, morning, whenever you are listening to this audio episode that you have clicked on and downloaded ever so kindly. Welcome, welcome. This is episode number 57, I believe, of the Good Bit Podcast. I really should know I am the host, and it is 57. I've just checked in the phone. This is the Good Bit episode 57, and we're going to talk about lots of films that we have seen over the last month or so, whether it be in the cinema, whether it be at home on Netflix, or just some older ones that we've maybe... Um, caught recently that maybe not aren't as good, but we'll talk about them anyway right here on episode number 57. Okay, uh, joining us today, we're in a new studio. We, the beauty of the, of the good bit, ladies and gents, is that I am a travelling host. I am able to stay at home, invite folk to my house, to Good Bit Studios, and we can chat about films there. I also am able to come to other people's studios, other people's houses, if you will. And this one in particular is a brand new flat. Consisting of the three, da, 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 consisting of the three boys that I have on the channel, the channel on the episode on the podcast today. First up is my good close personal friend. It's Fraser C. Otherwise known around here as Frambo. That was Pudding, remember? That was a long time. Ago. Ago. Frambo is better because it's Frambo. more you. It's more me. It's more uh, you. Hi. So hello. This is my voice. Welcome back <laughs> to TGB, which is the good bit and uh, letters. Yeah. How do you feel? I'm looking forward to it. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Yeah. I quite liked it being on last time when was the wrestling one. The wrestling. The w- uh, WCW. WCW. Sold it. Oh, classic. That one was quite good. Good times. Uh, I think that was my last one. I and feel I enjoyed like, the podcast. Yeah, I feel like that's one of those ones where I wanted to go further with it and I wanted to take that in its own way, but it just doesn't work when you try and mix everybody together. Do you know what I mean? With wrestling yeah. and movies and music and all that good stuff. And did, did somebody say music there? Very funny because the song you heard play in <laughs> to the episode is performed by thank you. Well done, Chris. Are well performed done. by the boys sitting to my left, to my right, <laughs> across the table, Sal and Leo from Tape Live. Boys, welcome back to the show. Hello. Hello, it's good to be back. It's good to be back, yeah. Episode 57. What, what 57. was it we were on? Was it 40, 40, 45, I want to say? Yeah, which but is like a year ago. About a year ago. Yeah, there's um, there's well, people out there that are probably, you know, good bit. Experience. Oh, yeah, we're, we're back now, we're more mature. I'm always a good one. Voices are deeper. Voices are puberty. Sal's more, Sal's sillier now. <laughs> well, you're now older because yeah. you now have your own house. And we all live together. Yeah. We all, all live, live together. Isn't that nice? So, how's life treating you and your new pad? Yeah, pretty good, yeah. We've it's just got a drum kit, so... It's been fun. <laughs> good really. so Sal's just like bought a drum kit. A month and a half. And uh, yeah. it's been went pretty well. It's yeah. went quite smoothly. Yeah, is it, is it, uh, a month and a half is like a quite a substantial amount of time. Yeah. It doesn't seem like that to me. Uh, walking on the outside, it's long mm. enough that the. I know it's been far too long. Well, it's, long <laughs> it's, it's long enough that we've got it's together long. and actually have a son. Yeah, yeah. that's oh, nice. Yes, oh, yes, that's, that's right. right. We, we, we should, we should mention him. also joining us today as our child, mm. <laughs> who is a plant from IKEA. He's a yucca elephantibus, and his name is Graham. Hello, Graham. Thank you. Nice to have you. I'm really a big fan of the show. Yeah. He's so. tough to be on. Uh, <laughs> if you are interested, you can follow him on Instagram. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's at Graham Mongo. So that's G R A H A M M U N G O. Graham Mongo. Graham you are the Mongo Men. The Mongo Men. Mongo <laughs> Studios. It's an honour to be in Mongo Studios to chat about some movies that we've all been watching yes. recently. So since life in Mongo Studios. Any movies been on the telly? Anything you've been checking out? What was the first thing we watched here together? We started watching The Boys, actually. That was a TV show, yeah. Oh, the TV show? That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, what did we watch? Did we got one, one episode, two so episodes? Two, we two, two. Three, yeah. 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 We just yeah. never really got back to it because we all tried to watch it together. Yeah. And yeah. then there was always somebody away. And we never but that's pretty good. Do you know what it is? Have you seen it? No, so it's, it's, basically, it's basically like The Avengers if they were all like... Pricks. That's right, I remember. And it's yeah. quite good. It's yeah. quite funny. Yeah, it was quite good. Funny and dark at points as well. Nice, is it Netflix or? It's, no, is it Amazon or something? Amazon, yeah. Amazon? yeah. Nice. Yeah, I have, heard, I have heard some good things about it, so I might end yeah. up checking that one out. Mm-hmm. Um, how far are you on? He's, oh, did you yeah, stop? Sorry, Wait, that, was, that, that was like a month ago. I have <laughs> yeah. yeah. heard it gets better as you go, but yeah. from what we've seen, it's pretty good. Anyway. I liked it, aye. Um, what have we watched? The Room? The Room, that was fun. Well, he was, Sal wasn't here for that. Head, that was, hereditary as well. Yeah. Now, this is The Room. The Room. No, the you, must, you must have heard of this. I have heard of it, but I've not seen it. Famously the worst film ever made. Right, okay. One of the podcasts that I listened to, OSW Review, reviewed that film. <laughs> and because I hadn't seen the film, I didn't watch that podcast yeah. or listen to that podcast. Yeah. So I don't know anything other than that about it. Well, it was basically this guy, Tommy Wiseau. Tommy Wiseau, However you say I his name. He basically wanted to make a film and he somehow he had the money to do it. And mm. he should never have been allowed to make a film because <laughs> it's very bad. So it's just because like, it's a low budget or is it just It's not a low budget. It's not just like... Really 
the budget was normal. like I think we, it just see, it seems like a normal movie. Yeah, it's just the storyline really. Mm. There's no, there isn't one. And the, That's acting, <laughs> yeah. and the acting is is less than yeah less than ideal. Shall we yeah. say? Is that the meme that is? Um, oh, hey Mark. Yeah, they come from so that. So his yeah. his dialogue in the film is just horrendous. And and he's he's writing his it. yeah. <laughs> you need to watch it. It's <laughs> funny. It was really good. Like I really liked it. Like it was very bad. Yeah, I, I love, I love like, that. I love watching horrible that, films. It was, it was good. Um. It's just so like memorable. And, yeah, like, and we've been quoting it ever since. <laughs> it's just so <laughs> I'm just in the corner glass. Oh, I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, for Animal Mention, we also watched the Hereditary. Hereditary? Yeah, Hereditary. Nice. Now, did you see... I didn't see that, actually. Yeah. I wasn't here for that one. Uh, well, I won't spoil it, but it's... I saw the last like minute or two of it. Right, well, that's kind of ruined it then. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a horror movie, and it's like... It's all about like this family that have, there's kind of something going on, and then there's an incident that happens mm. halfway through. And it is traumatizing. Like it's wow, properly bad. You didn't yeah. like you didn't like Graham watch that one, did you? No, no, we kept his eyes shut. Right? Yeah. Did you put like a towel around him or something yeah. to like, make? Yeah, just fixed him against the wall. His bow tie over his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Having an early night, Graham. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I'm knackered. Um, so Hereditary, it divides so many people. Like, yeah. like a lot of people love it. A lot of people say it's the worst horror ever. Mm. Where would it rank with you guys? I really liked it. I thought the story was pretty excellent. Like you said, watch it because you'd seen it before. I've seen it before. And you said it was yeah. pretty good. I actually enjoyed uh, it more the second time as well. And I watched it and I really, like, I followed the story pure well. Mm. It wasn't too complex, but it wasn't yeah. too simple. Well, the, the first it wasn't time. too, like, like, see with scary movies, see if it's just, they're out to just scare you. Yeah. I just think it's a bit boring because I like a good story. Mm. And Hereditary has like a, good, a really good story. Yeah. It proper builds up the horror. Yeah. It's not like I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say it's very. Like, mm. I'm, I'm, in parts, it's scary. Mm-hmm. I'd say more creepy. I think. Right, I see. It's one of those. It's not yeah. really jumpy. It's more. Yeah, it's I still would, jumpy. It's yeah, good jumps. It's it jumpy. Yeah. I but uh, I'd say it's just got creepy themes in it. It's, yeah, proper. What was the, <laughs> did we watch Get Out as well? Yeah, we all I watched that, it. didn't we? I don't think yeah. we all watched that, but I watched it with. I was you? here. I, w- I watched it. So who was with me? <laughs> Were you there? I've not seen it in the flat now. I must I've have seen, seen it. I watched it at home with mom and dad because they'd never seen it. But it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. I like. I like we've all, we've all seen it though. Yeah. It's yeah. Such a. I think it's a must see. I really like it. In terms of this generation of filmmaking, I think it's up there. It's like yeah. original idea. It's done really mm. well. It, it's like I don't want to sound wanky, but it's like thought provoking in ways. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you, you go away thinking about it, sort of thing. I love that one. Then they did the sequel this year, Us. Yeah. I've not seen that yet. No, I've, heard, I've heard that's not that good. We, I, we, really, I really liked it. Yeah. I, yeah. Nah, I didn't like it as like more than <clears> Get Out. <throat> yeah. But like, I thought it was really good. Like The mm. story was really good. Uh, everything about it was pretty decent, but I think Get Out was just sublime, man. It was just like perfect. Hard yeah. to Stay at that kind of yeah. Like yeah, I was, yeah, it was so intense, like the whole duration. Whereas I think ours kind of peaks. Mm, yeah, a wee cool bit. idea though with the doppelganger yeah. and stuff. So it's like kind of doppelganger stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, get yeah, it was really good. Yeah, yeah, that was I, one that was on. And the funny horror films in particular is like they're the ones that like divide people. You know what I mean? Like comedy films. If if someone doesn't like a comedy film. They just go, I just didn't find it funny. They won't yeah. say it was awful, it's the worst comedy ever, but the horror films, like, I yeah. didn't find it scary. But then it also goes that extra mile to say, oh, it's a disgrace. Why did they make that? It's not as good as this. Why do you think, I mean, it's horror films. I mean, it's, well, it's on that scary. Point, on that point, I watched the, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but Sandy Wexler, the Adam Sandler movie. Oh, right. It had like a million celebrities and it was just the worst thing I've yeah. ever seen. <laughs> and I, and this. <laughs> And that I mean, was the I point of a comedy where yeah. I was like, nah, I don't, I that's don't terrible. Think, I don't think Adam Sandler's made a good film since like the 90s. So. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's the thing, he, he gets a bad name, but I think, I, is it like his early really films? So entertaining. Happy, Happy Gilmore. Gilmore. Yeah. Happy, Gilmore's, Happy Gilmore's. Have Gilmore's you seen, a, oh, what's the one? The Waterboy? Billy Madison. Billy Madison. Billy Madison. Oh, the fucking foot. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Waterboy's good as well. Waterboy's Waterboy great. The big shoe's in that. The big just on the wrestler. And Is that the big shoe? The big shoe, yeah. And he's just like, I'm 35 and they fucking lose it. That's all right. That's right. We like to say swear words. Oh, we're we're okay. explicit here. We don't live with our parents anymore. We can say bad oh, words. Good, yeah. good. Well, I was more thinking of Graham to be honest. Oh, that's that's true. True. Well, I mean, we we just swear around him a lot, don't we? Yeah. He's picked well, up. up. This is new. See, to be to be fair, see, considering we're such bad parents, he's turned out a lovely wee boy. Yeah, he's grown <laughs> up so fast. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, you know, he's kind of just the same size as when we got him. Oh, I've only seen him three times in my life. But well, actually, yeah. what's we're going to get a height mark on the wall see how high <laughs> we totally should yeah. what, what about, I know we've totally moved on from that but what about the, tell them about the, the oh right the so this is brilliant so we had the idea of everyone who visits the flat such as yourself yes. you've done this 
has to has to get a picture with Graham as if like you're his pal, which we're we're all friends. He's, Absolutely, he's, he's, yeah. he's a lovely boy. Like yeah, good man. So we've got how many have we got now? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got ten pictures of people we've visited. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> well, we've got more because we've unprinted them. Yeah, there's some. So we're basically we've we've taken these got pictures one, uh, and we've got them put in frames and they're up on the wall right next to us as we're speaking. Right, right above the dinner table. There's yeah. Frambles, mum and dad. Yeah. Um, and we got a family picture taken where we all dressed up smart and we did like a prom type picture photo shoot and with yep. us and Graham he has a wee yeah. bow tie on and we're just really really proud of it yeah. <laughs> I must say it is one of the best things you've ever done I ever. think it's the best I, I love ever. it mm-hmm. we'll go back to the, the horror thing because I've got a wee thing I think I think it's me being a wee bit I, I was, I was swearing I yeah, of course right I think it's me being a wee bit of a prick but like <laughs> I think it's it, people think it's cool to mm-hmm. say horror movies are not scary mm. and like oh I didn't like it because it was no scary and I never get scared at all and that's just all they judge it off of yeah. I mean, I, whereas like when I come out of a horror movie I'm like I jumped at points I think the story was quite good see I never that's really like, get I never get normally, scared by horror every time I hear someone who's been a horror is like oh wasn't it scary it was shite it, like, was, oh. it, was, it was crap because uh, I, I wasn't scared then my point is do you go into the film wanting to be scared? This is, this is, this is, this is my point because yeah. when I was younger, I would get really scared of horror films. As I've gotten older, I've realised, you know what, it's just a film. Absolutely. So I don't, I don't get scared. Like, obviously, if something jumps out, you go, oh, jump. But yeah. I don't like, feel terrified. No, like, when I was younger watching films, I would have like, a feeling of dread while watching films. Well, I don't get that. You have, you have to kind of want to get that feeling. I yeah. When you want that. You yeah, I to, don't. You're I supposed just, to get that feeling, though. Yeah, it's yeah, part of it. To. Well, that's I, the thing. Like, games, horror games, I still get that feeling. Like, genuinely that's different, though. That's different. Because you're actually in that yeah. situation. Yeah. It's so much scarier. Yeah. Than I'm the same as you. But Hereditary is an exception. I will say, I was genuinely scared watching the Like, I made the mistake of watching bits of The Exorcist when I was like 10 <laughs> and it messed me up <laughs> you you may have literally starred in the first horror I ever saw Leo made oh, a film oh that's right yeah. Leo made a film when we were like first year or you were much younger no, 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 it was, it was, it was in, when primary school we made it Wait, remember that the woodcutter film the woodcutter so, never seen that. so I went. So I was really young, and I went away on holiday. <laughs> I went away on holiday with my parents, and uh, my parents' friends who had kids as well. So I went away together, and my dad's friend had just got like a camera or something. He was for his work or something. He had this really good camera, so he wanted to make like a wee short film while we were away. It was up north Scotland somewhere. I think it was Fort William. We'd like rented this wee house. We're staying yeah. there for a week. So we made this wee film where spooky things were happening in the house, and like people were getting murdered and stuff. Um, I won't spoil it. But <laughs> you it's, on, it's, on, it's on YouTube. I still, I think, I think it's on YouTube. No way. Uh, I have the description. I have, I, mean, I, have, I have the DVD in the room. So. One of the, I think, it, you gave me a copy of it. You yeah. it for me or something. Is that only your dad in it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah I think my, my dad's in it, yeah. and I'm in it. My brother, and then. Um, there's, uh, so nice. I can't even say much more without spoiling it. It's really short. It's like ten minutes, but. It's my, but, act, my acting debut. Yeah, when we when we <laughs> met back in 2009, 10 ish, yeah. whatever, and you showed me that, I was like, oh my god, he's made a film? Like, it's, yeah. it's great. I mean, I didn't make it, but. Yeah, you didn't start I started and I was the main, the main, the main, the main guy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, we're talking about Hereditary there. It's, is it not like the same studio that made that Midsummer? This, this past summer? No? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Well, sure. myself, Ram, and our good close personal friend Francis went to see Midsummer at the cinema back in July. And we just had the best time. I love that movie so much. Although, like, it's so good. yeah, kind of supposed to be a horror. Kind of supposed to be a bit kind of sci-fi-y. Mm. A wee bit kind of like a thriller. Yeah. Um, just a weird film. And it's it's up there in like one of my favourites of the whole year. I, I knew would love it. I knew that sounds pretty good. I, I think sci-fi no stuff. It's and it's just mixed with loads so of genres. Creepy, and it's like this wee like, cult, I guess. Mm. Yeah, totally. So it's a wee cult in like Sweden. Can I ask yeah. a question for everyone? Yeah. What is the scariest film you have all seen? You're probably going to shout at me because you'll probably be like, oh, it's not that scary. But to me, to this day, I still say it's The Shining. I've never seen it. Never saw it. You've never seen it? Never seen it. Well, I only saw it for the first time in 2017, two years ago, when I did Horror Movie Month on Scene 42 TV. Um, <laughs> and I watched a few horror films in that month and talked about them and stuff. Mm-hmm. Really sort of diary thing. And I watched The Shining. And what we were talking about earlier about, you know, not being too jumpy when you're watching the film or being really creeped yeah, out yeah. it was The Shining to me was like that perfect in the middle where it was a great film great story yeah. great well, acting Steve, Stephen King isn't it like, Stephen King and it was just like that sort of eerie I've got a, tense a, 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 quote, a quote from Stephen King which I think is brilliant and it's um, what is it now it's like he wrote, he wrote he said one time or said something like the true meaning of horror is 
feeling something touch your back and then turn around and there's nothing there. God. Which is like, I just that, that's it. like that's like really creepy. So like, yeah. I, so I don't think like gory films and films yeah. where people are getting. Yeah, but see, going to that is point, that scary? Whereas that is like. On to that creepy. point of Saw, the first Saw, it was, it's yeah, it's like gory, and the new ones, they kind of just went straight for the gore fest, and mm-hmm. it wasn't as good. But see, the first Saw, the actual story in that, and the kind of, yeah, what yeah. happens in it, mm-hmm. I don't want to say too much, people haven't seen it, yeah. but it's an excellent storyline as well. Because that's obviously, they need, need to get a mix of that, like the gore factor, plus the sort of eerie, scary factor, because mm-hmm. sometimes people could just see all the blood and the yeah. deaths and stuff, and just kind of shove it off. And that's what the later ones became, because they changed the director, and actually right, just went straight for that, but the earlier yeah. ones, like, one, two, three, was Is the there not like director. 12 of them? Yeah, yeah there's more. So yeah. 60 yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's definitely one I need to check out. What about you guys? Scariest film? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Hereditary Her- is up there for me, but there's another one I've seen. I don't know if any mm. of you guys have seen. It's the, the Ritual. No. It's no, very scary. There's a, a kind of they basically these guys go on a kind of walk through the forest and they go in this hut because mm-hmm. it's like it's getting night and they get lost. So they're like we'll just stay here for the night. And they go upstairs and there's this kind of wicker man with mm-hmm. no head and like antlers and stuff coming out of it. And it's like an idol thing, and um, they're like, eh, they're like kind of creeped out by it, and so they shut the door and then they go to bed, and then like stuff happens with that, and just this thing is just so terrifying, and then you find out what what it's all about later. Mm, but yeah. I want to do it, but yeah, it's scary. so it's so scary. Yeah, I'd recommend that one as well. What about you, Leo? It would probably be still The Exorcist. <laughs> no, no, no. Cause I didn't watch the whole thing. I watched bits of it. Um, maybe The Grudge or The mm. Ring. The Ring's quite a creepy There's film. so many I've not seen because I don't want to watch yeah, them. Yeah, I'm the same, I'm not in any horror, so I think that's why I'm struggling. Although, the, 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 the very first Paranormal Activity, I watched that when I was quite young and that terrified me. That whole idea scared me. Yeah, it was It was things. just, yeah, it was like the concept of it, how it's just all the, the night vision cameras mm. and you can't see, you can't, like, some, some, some corners yeah. of the room are quite dark and you can't fair. see what's in them. Yeah. I'm terrified to watch it. Well, the, first, the first couple were quite creepy, but... It's the same as Saw, like, they changed the director and it got kind of crap as it got played to a mainstream audience. Yeah, um, interesting. What about like favorite horror films? It's October now, you know. We can get yeah, into the Halloween. 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 Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So um, this is fine to talk about. What, what about favorite horror films or favorite just scary films in general? Well, have you seen the thing, the original one? I feel like I've not seen anything. That's that's a really <laughs> scary one. It's, that's, it's, that's quite old. It's isn't very it? old. From? Like it's, the sixties or something. Like yeah, seventies maybe. I'm not yeah. sure, but it's aged really well. Mm-hmm. It still holds up. It's mm-hmm. quite fucking scary. Like. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'd go with like stuff like maybe Get Out or Us, maybe. Yeah. yeah that's quite thrillery. Like, mm-hmm. I just kind of like that aspect of it. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not. I'm more of a fan just... of thrillers rather than horror. Yeah. Films. Me too. Like, one, one of my favorite films is Misery. Has anybody seen that? No. Oh, that's fantastic. We it's, 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 another, it's another Stephen King um, adapt- adaptation. Yeah. That's a fantastic film. You should watch that. I feel like when I was growing up, I was always saying, "Oh, you know, action is my favorite genre. Comedy is my favorite genre." But see, now that I'm kind of like enjoying films more just from like mm. a filmmaking point of view yeah. I think thrillers just take everything because you, yeah. it gets that emotion out I of think they're the, they're the most difficult films to make yeah sure. Sure. But Sci- I, I sci-fi probably, thrillers yeah. as well that like a good one is, yeah, yeah a good yeah. one like uh, something like uh, Interstellar is not really a thriller but it's kind of creepy and it's, it's on the edge of sci-fi yeah have you guys mm. seen it? Mm. yeah yeah, yeah I love that movie the soundtrack is awesome yeah. too mm. You were going to say something. I'm trying to think of like a movie. I mean, I like that. Would you rather? That was pretty creepy. No, it's mm-hmm. I was like, they were invited to a party, and they actually had to do. They would say like, "Would you rather, mm. like, put your head under a, in a barrel for two minutes, or like slice your like eyelids or something Ouch. like that?" And then they had to do it. What if they don't do it? Well, I think they pretty pretty much. I think they die. <laughs> <laughs> but that that seems. I'm pretty sure like they do a forfeit. Like I'm pretty sure. I don't want to ruin it, but we should, sure we should play a version of that. In the that. That'd be quite fun. And like I, I know, like it wasn't like scary, but like I was just thinking, see if I was in that position, man. Like, yeah. yeah. But that that seems like one of those movies that's kind of more played to a mainstream audience now. I, I've not seen it, so yeah. I can't judge. But because I mean, it, it kept being advertised to me on Netflix, I was like, ah, that's it's going to be one of those ones. that's not. I just like the because uh, I'm not like a massive fan of horror, but like see the like, thriller, and, like the creepy themes, like I really yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. And like the would you rather, like see if I was in that position, like that is terrifying. Mm. There's like, one you out, have to do stuff on that. Yeah, there's one out just now called Ready or Not that I really want to see. That no, looks good. It's like um, kind of similar to Get Out, where someone like marries into a family and they think they're all lovey dovey and they think they're all happy and stuff, and right. then as soon as something happens and like time to go to bed, and then everything kind of changes mm-hmm. and stuff. Not as it seems. Yeah, one of those ones. So I want to try and check that out. Maybe this I week. I mean, it's, like, it's like hide and seek in it. Yeah, like, yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. They are seeking her. Yeah, it sounds and cool. She's trying to hide from like the whole family. Have you guys seen uh, Event Horizon? 
No. No, is that? That's a really old film as well. It's got uh, the guy, uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, right, aye. And oh, it's classic. Got, yeah, it's got the guy from Jurassic Park as well. Mm-hmm. So it's Sam, quite... Sam Neill, the... The main guy, I can't remember. Yeah, Sam Neill or that. Jeff Goldblum. Not Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <I don't> know, <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, yeah. And it, that's it's quite an old one, but it's it's a sci-fi horror, and it's like basically this ship has like they've got this new engine that they use is like they harness a black hole and it can go through space really fast and it disappears and then it comes back and all the crew are gone and people go in and investigate it and mm. it's like this black hole is like doing things wow. to people. It's uh, it's really good. And that sounds really good. Yeah, it's the guy from Jurassic Park. He built the ship, so he's kind of like in love with it. And there's like this whole weird thing with him. He goes a bit nuts and stuff. It's, it's really good. Nice. Yeah, I'd recommend that one as well. There's so many I've not seen, so it's like, there's so, like a big list of ones I've got a list of ones to see. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Another horror film that happens to be out just now that a lot of people are talking about is It Chapter 2. Yes. Um, which is the big sequel to the 2017 re-release of the Stephen King original from 1990. Can you believe that? I was only 74 back then. Um, so now, uh, <laughs> seeing the sequel now... You're looking all right. I'm looking all right, I'm moving all right. Um, yeah, so they, they re-released the original It back in 2017, I think, or 16 or 17? It was 17, I think. Yeah, and 17. It, was the, uh, it was the part one story. It was all about the kids dealing with Pennywise. Mm-hmm. And now this version coming out in 2019 is the 20-year-later version. It's 27 years? 27. 27, 27 years later. Um, they're all grown up. The spirit of Pennywise has come back to haunt them, back to the original town, the group of friends gather back together again and they have to try and stop Pennywise from ever coming back and try to save humanity. So, we all saw it together. We did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to go around the table. We'll start with Fram, since you're okay. directly across from me. What did you think of it too? Right, um, right okay, I'll start with like the positives. I thought some of the things were really cool. Like, some of the, like at the start, it was really cool. I liked how he was kept going out and then coming back in. Mm. And he was like, he, he seemed like, how is he going to stop them? Dude. Like there was Pennywise, but like he kept coming, going out of it for like a good like ten minutes or something, and it was like showing they are like coming back or something, and then he would see so like under the bleachers. I thought that was pretty good. Great scene. I thought the, girl. the I think my favourite scene in the whole thing was the maze one, when they're in the wee yeah. mirror maze. With the mirrors. I think that was I think that's that maybe my that was probably the best scene in it. However, when like it, bashing his head off. Yeah, yeah crazy. I had so much so much build up. And I was expecting like a pure, really good fight, like really tense. Uh, then we're like, oh, lose hope. Like we're never winning this. And then somehow they win. But it just it wasn't really that. Mm-hmm. I think it was just kind of, it seemed pure rushed and pure like, like, it was just, I didn't like the end. I thought the end was just really lazy. And Something not clicking mm-hmm. for you. But just, uh, that big like, fight scene seemed really. See if they had like a wee bits of them, like terrifying them, like throughout it, a wee bit more. Mm-hmm. And then it got to the end, and he didn't turn into a big CGI monster thing. Yeah, it just like deflated, I guess. Yeah, no point intended. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> just uh, with like no particular reason, it was just a bit like a bit yeah. of a letdown. Yeah, yeah look, why a big crab? He just turns into a big crab, didn't he? Just a big. Yeah, yeah that was crazy. his like natural form, and it was like we had a whole movie, and then they just they just they just changed it. I think they didn't really like. And, like and the first one they didn't tease towards it. They didn't tease towards it in like the first part. Then they just mm-hmm. suddenly, oh right, this is he's a massive crab. Who, <laughs> if you if you call names, gets he, sad and yeah. dies and, and goes smaller. Yeah, and I just thought I was really lazy and it really was, like it was. it was like an anti bullying like film. Yeah. I felt and I was just a bit. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> the legendary horror is an anti bullying film. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Anyway, he's, oh, yeah. he's, he's going to like torture you, but see if you just call him a wee clown and a wee, a, you're silly. I he, mean, he'll be, he'll, see if you said that at school, a, somebody would hit you even harder. No, and it was <laughs> just like don't think that would work. Like yeah, like the maze I thought was amazing. Like the build up, the start was really good. I was like, this is going to be really good. Then towards the end, I was just like, right, I'm a bit fed up now. Yeah. Yeah. Because so it was just this. Uh, okay, I've got quite a few points. But I like the, so I agree with Framble on pretty much everything he said. I really like the kids' actors. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> the actors were excellent. Thank <laughs> God you said that. I know, yeah. In the first one, they were brilliant. And then he got the, the likeness of them all really well, except yeah. from the girl. I didn't like her. Really? But I thought he did a good job there. I, I really liked the, the actor for the girl in the first one. She was really good. And, like, I don't know. Good. But the, yeah. the sec, I don't know. I wasn't happy about that. Jessica Chastain in the new one. Yeah. I didn't like the whole plot line about how suddenly she fell in love with the guy that used to be fat, or just because he's ripped now, now he falls in love. 
Oh, that's a bit shit. No, it's because she didn't know that he loved her all along, along, and then when she found out, she was because he's ripped. Oh, okay. oh, like, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, good. I like you too. And Bill just get cast to the side like, yeah, like yeah. nah, yeah. that was shit. I didn't like that. Uh, I, I did like I did like the bit how they, they went into each character and their own kind of backstory about why they're like that and what Pennywise would target about each of them mm-hmm. so you had like um, the guy uh, the comedy the guy what's his the name the comedy Bill Hader yeah him so he was the older Finn Wolfhart and they, they had the, the scenes with the kids like him in the arcade and yeah that was great being called gay and yeah. stuff and going into the park and the statue coming alive yeah yeah those bits were really good. Yeah, and really good filmmaking. Had, yeah, and then the um, the girl would go back to her house, and then her dad was like, like he was like a bastard or whatever. I an addict and all that stuff. Yeah, and then he went and she went into the the house, and the old woman was there. Yeah. And which can I just say was one of my favorite scenes in the film. To be, my my absolute <laughs> favorite scene. It is. I was, fucking, I was fucking pissing yeah. my pants and that was so funny. Do you know how the bullet was quite good? Like when she was like creeping Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that comes on to one of my points, but I'll... You know, you know the way like um so Jessica Chastain's character was like looking at the pictures on the wall when like the camera is kinda of, like shooting her from the wall and yeah. you can see behind her and the wee old lady's kinda of walking really slowly yeah. and then she notices that she's not looking and the wee old lady just kinda of starts going look 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 and starts saying I know you could see that but like starts doing mad shapes and stuff and yeah, she just yeah. gets all naked and stuff it's bonkers strangest yeah yeah it was, it was. I liked it though I liked the way they did yeah, it yeah me too that bit was good um, yeah I think that's pretty much what I've got to see no. well I'll, I'll pick up off that bit so up until that scene in the film I was right into the film yeah, it, was, it was just as creepy as the first one I was, I was loving it Mm. She goes into the house, that scene where, and it's like she's wandering about because it's her, her old house and she's wanting to see what it looks like now. Yeah. And she's looking at pictures in the walls, and then was it wasn't Pennywise was in one of the pictures. Yeah, yeah. But like not as the clown, like as. But like the original. Yeah, what, what human he looked thing. like as a, like a human type yeah. thing. Because it was like, implied that, that like the, the old lady that was her dad, wasn't it? Because yeah, like, oh, yeah. my dad was in the circus. Oh, so she sees that and recognises it, and that, I, thought, I loved that because one of my favourite bits in the first film was when. One of the kids is in the library and he's like researching the history of the town and he sees the clown from like hundreds of years ago. Yeah. I love stuff and like that. Clicks. That's, that's yeah. really yeah. creepy. So when I saw this in the second film, I was like, oh, this is good. This is like old picture of the mm. Pennywise. Really creepy. And like you said, the woman walking through the house, like shuffling behind her back and all that. Doing the <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, that's really creepy. And then I was waiting for something to happen, like really scary. And then no. The old woman turns out this fucking monster with saggy tits, and I just started laughing. Oh my god! It was like, ruined. The the suspense was, ruined. and I just laughed. Like, this is just ridiculous. What is going on? But after that though, the bit when it was like the normal clown, and then he did that and pulled his like face down and oh, makeup. Oh, great! Yeah, yeah. There, 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 there were there were there were really there cool. were parts that were cool and creepy, but I just felt like a lot of the scary things they tried to do in the film were just ruined by how overdone and overproduced they were. Like the big CGI monsters and that's stuff. Fair. Like that's just. I don't. Really, I didn't really find that creepy. I guess. Yeah, it wasn't subtle. It wasn't scary. It was too in your face. Because there were, yeah. there's bits in the in the first film which were excellent, like when they're when all the kids are in a garage or something, they've got something mm. up in the projector. That's an yeah. And he like and he like appears in this on the projector and they're kind of a bit creeped out and then he like climbs out. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. And then in the basement with the water and he like appears at the water. That's like really creepy. That's like the scene that sticks in my head. From the yeah. First one. The first one, I think one of my f- when the, they're watching TV. And it's like a kids' TV show, and he's like, he's in the yeah, middle of them, and he's yeah. like, kill them all. Yeah, and he's oh, just like, yeah, stuff, yeah. Like, stuff like that was like, actually that was, scary. Like, that was like, where there, whereas in the, in the second film, there wasn't as much of that stuff. Yeah, I mean, and the, 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 they sort of just opted for more like ridiculous like, effects, yeah. stuff like that, which kind of took away Let's from blow it. Blow our budget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, up until the last third of the film, I really, really enjoyed it, but the ending. Which is a shame because it happens in so many films where you're really into it, and if an ending's bad, it just sours your opinion of the whole film. Yeah. Um, I, re- I mean, two thirds of the film I really, really liked. I wasn't as big of a fan of the first one. And when I say the first one, I mean the 2017 one, um, as everybody else was. We actually did a podcast about it, episode 26 or something, six or seven, all those episodes ago. Um, and everybody on the show with me, you know, saying how much they loved it and how much it was a part of their childhood and how they liked the, the child actors and things like that. And I just was like, I just don't get it. I mean, I, I can understand how it's good and well made and stuff, but I just didn't connect to it as well. But I have that thing with like Stranger Things as well, where it's just if it's a younger cast, mm. maybe it's because I'm trying to be an actor. I don't know, but I'm trying to like connect with the actors and I just I can't do it when it's 
kids, I don't know what it is. Are you just, just like jealous of them because they're in We were jealous. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, but... That's funny because my sister said the same thing and she doesn't really like Stranger Things. For yeah, that. that's, a, that's yeah. interesting. She's also wanting to be an actor for the kids of the Actor podcast. types. Yeah, yeah. wankers. Mm. But I, uh, I, I really like those kind of things, like things like Stand By Me, Stranger Things. Stand By Me is great. Yeah. I, and the, I got a lot of the Stand By Me kind of vibes from the first day. I don't know if I was... Yeah, yeah totally. I did, absolutely. Yeah. I think that's why I like the first one better. I think that was like a wee sort of hint to Stand by Me in the first one. It was yeah. kind of like let's try and make it along yeah, exactly. Like the bikes and stuff. The bikes, yeah, yeah, yeah. the train tracks and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I just I just guess that I wasn't so big on the first one, and going into the second one, I kind of was like, I'll take anything. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Kind of skeptical. And then you had the wee sort of weird scenes when like that again, the filmmaking is really good because it's changing between the kid actors to the yeah, grown-up like, like actors. That. Yeah. And then when Pennywise is, I know it was a bit daft, but when he's like changing into Paul Bunyan and he's changing into the things <laughs> in the arcade and things like that, although it is a bit daft, I could understand it for that point because okay, it's a horror film. It's about a clown. Like the opening scene with, with the lake and stuff. Mm. That, that was, was great. Great. That was yeah. that was excellent. Yeah. But Things like the, that. The gay guys at the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be up. Yeah. That was that was brutal actually. That was brutal. Yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't that expect was... that right off the bat. Yeah. yeah. Well, was about, like, yeah. the start was amazing. Yeah. 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 But then they never really. Yeah. Think about that. that. Compare the start. You watch the first week five oh, minutes. Yeah. Like, Whoa. And then you watch the last five minutes. You're like. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you know the way. If, if it is a good start. That's what that's what I felt anyway. If it is a good beginning, then you're like, okay, I'm in. Like let's do it. And your hopes are high. And I think the film had to try very hard to make you lose that. And it did. Which is what maybe this. It was too long as well. I was bored. It was two hours and forty nine minutes. Quite long. Which is a red flag for me. If it's over two and a half hours, it better be pretty fucking special. Although strange way, see, even though it was that long, I felt like it went too quick. Like the mm. pacing was far too quick. It they didn't spend enough time. I think, it was, I think it was rushed a wee bit. Man. Yeah, um, I disagree. I was bored. There was too many scenes where I was just like, "Oh, come on, hurry up here." Yeah, and then of course the scene with the old lady, I really liked. But then, when even when they were going into this sort of cave, but I thought this is kind of cool and inventive and stuff. Mm. But as soon as they all get into the cave and like, although they're all absolutely petrified. And unable to do this clearly, they're still fine to de- get through everything, and they're strong enough to get through everything. And then all the wee character relationships are kind of developing wee things like, oh, I actually fancy you, or this was me the whole time, and mm-hmm. I fancied you since school, and it was all these wee things you're trying to keep up with. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just the ending with the guy, t- the, the clown, turning into a crab. That they, I mean, it's obviously they're all going to die. There's, there's no way this is going to be all right. Mm-hmm. But then as soon as they say you're just a clown or you're just a, a silly <laughs> wee guy. That's it, and I just, I mean, yeah, it's, I, it's so just kind of ruined it for me. It's, a, it's meant to be, I think, it's kind of like an overarching theme of you, you should stand up to your fears, yeah. but it was done badly. Yeah, that, that's yeah, exactly right. That the, 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 the theme and the idea of the story was good, it was just executed a little bit poorly, I yeah. thought. Yeah, I mean, like, I'll just say something that I did like about the second one over the first one was it was quite funny. It was yeah. very funny. It was yeah, very yeah, funny. Yeah, 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 I think Bill Hader's a large part of that. Yeah, he's hilarious. See that guy who was like, um, the pure. What, he was the old guy who yes. was like in the, like the James the Ransom. Diseases. I think his name was is. It the guy with like the diseases who had like the cast in the yeah, first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was was I thought he was excellent. I thought yeah. he was hilarious. Character name was Eddie, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Eddie. Oh, the I, bit when he was, was like, so funny. I think he's in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. His eyes are like this big. <laughs> he's like he's like shuffling it against the wall. He yeah. just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Very funny. So good. But I thought he was. I thought he was like the reason why it was funny. And I, I, I forgot to make that point. I thought he was great. I thought he was probably yeah. the best person. He was really, really, really like yeah. the young actor as well. Yeah, yeah. they got that. Like, they nailed that. Yeah. What I think they didn't nail so much was the sort of in the first film you believe that they were all friends. Mm. In the second film, I didn't believe they were adult friends, even though like I know they hadn't been in contact Reconnect, for years. Yeah. But when they did come together, the film tried to make it seem as if they were all best friends again. And I yeah. just didn't really get. That. I thought the actors did a good job. Shout out to James McAvoy. I thought he did a good job with yeah, the whole stutter kinda, gimmick. I thought that was yeah. cool. But then also shout. I don't know that annoyed me. I special think shout out to uh, Isaiah Mufasa who played Mike, who kind of gets them all together. I thought he was really good too. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I don't like using the phrase, it was too daft, because I love Star Wars, and I love Jaws, and I love all Back to the Future, and all these films. Yeah. But this was too daft. It was. The ending was too daft. The yeah. thing that grinds my gears as well, <laughs> is the guy... <laughs> it really grinds my gears. gears. <laughs> yeah, so the guy right at the start, uh, that was too scared to come along, and he just yeah. killed himself. Like, And then he sent the letter at the end, explaining that scene. Yeah, that was he, a bit... Yeah. So he killed himself. Yeah so that they could complete the ritual how would he know <laughs> all of them had lost their memory how would he know to do that yeah. well yeah really good well I'm assuming the, the guy was it Mike the guy who was getting them all together yeah. yeah I'm assuming he told them what was going on on the phone like, he yeah but none of them really knew because when they all turned up at the restaurant they, they were all freaked out because they were like oh Perry's was back why would you bring us here and then they all tried to leave true but you don't know what he said to him on the phone maybe that's why he was the one that killed himself because he told him everything on the phone 
But how, he, he didn't know he'd killed himself either, so he would have told the rest of them the exact same. Very interesting. Maybe. Yeah. What do you think, Graham? What? That's stupid. You're a stupid... <laughs> Go to your that? room. Have you seen it? I haven't even seen the film. It's just... <laughs> it's just it's even done that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, there you go. It Chapter 2. Not our favourite on the show. No. Not the worst film of the year, I don't think. But um, um, it's the worst, the worst <laughs> one, It's the worst one I've seen in the cinema nearly, this year anyway. I've, 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 I've nearly got it as the worst, if I'm being really? fairly honest. What, what have you got as your worst? Right, I, I gave it a 5 out of 10. Uh, right, I'm going to say that's a wee bit harsh. I'm not going to say that. This is uh, Frambo editing right. his film list live. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nah, this one, 100% is the worst. Can you ever forgive me? What is that? It was about... Oh, it wasn't great, was it? With, uh, with Richard E. Grant? <laughs> Well, just, just finish the <laughs> two stuff. I just, I just the first time I've been in the cinema and I came out of it and I was like, I didn't enjoy that. Well, not the first time, but it's the first time in a long time. Wow. Yeah. Where I was like, yeah, same, same. Yeah. I enjoyed it much like the first one. I enjoyed it, but just it was. I think the first thing I said when it ho- uh, you like it's terrible. Yeah, it was something. So when you <laughs> asked me, terrible. No, when, when you said we're coming down the escalator in Cinema Worlds and something like that. Oh, what did you think about it? That was shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should have said yeah. that was fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nah. and, the, and the ending was so overly cheesy. I was like, if you were really invested in this and you enjoyed the full movie, the ending would have been perfect fitting for that. Yeah. Because I didn't enjoy it, it was like over the top, and I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. come on, you know, it's like it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. From what you saying? All right, so can you ever forgive me? There's basically that Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy. Uh, she's right. basically a writer, and she's not get getting very far with it. Mm-hmm. So she just starts to steal people's writing, and kind of reword it a wee bit. Mm-hmm. And sell it, and then she starts getting really successful. Is it meant to be a comedy or nah. was, no? No, it was meant to be a serious film. Serious film, drama. It's just kind of. And shit. basically, you, they get she gets found out that she's been copying, but then you're <laughs> supposed to feel sorry for her. And I'm like, she's just a writer. Should, why she's should, trying? Why should I feel sorry for you? Because you have blatantly copied them, and you know you're copying them. And I just I didn't like it at all. Yeah. Like none of them were like redeeming. I'm bored just listening. Pla- plagiarism. <laughs> it was plagiarism, and then she goes to court for it. Yeah. And then she's let off at court because um, because ah, sorry, you're just trying to you're just trying to write again. It's your trade. No, I'm having saying that. I actually found it all right. I actually was tense at points, especially when like if there was police involved. But after like when you came out and you kind of look at that as a whole mm. film and you think back to it and stuff, oh, it was a bit rubbish. Um, I'll tell you, it wasn't rubbish though. A film that we've also saw in the cinema. I don't know if Sal's seen it, but we saw Ad Astra. Yes, not seen that. With Brad Pitt, young Brad Pitt, oh, a busy year. Did you for Brad came in the cinema? Did you? Know? No, it was just us. Uh, you were. I don't know where I was. You were in Frankfurt. Oh, I was in Germany. You in Germany? Oh, how, was how, how was Germany? It was good. Yeah, it was a bit boring because I was at a convention from my work, but it was. Um, yeah, the the day before we left, we got food and stuff in the town, and we went rented the electric scooters. Oh, it was nice. like twenty cents for an hour or for a minute, and you could just like ride about and go vomit on the street. Twenty cents for an hour. I know. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. So Ad Astra was Ad Astra. Re- that was the most recent one. We've I stole your ticket for that one. You stole my ticket. We uh, yeah, I have an unlimited <laughs> card. I couldn't make it that day. We was like yeah, I was, it was it was an op- It was like a mission. I was like memorizing your birthday and stuff. Going nice. in, in case they uh, asked me. And then they just went, I and you go. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> oh yeah. Funny. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I prepared. Yeah. It's one of those windows in the world where like although like if you're a good guy you just let us in. But like think of that, like the amount of times that could happen where you could just use someone's card, do you know what I mean? But I know, but it's not like two people can use the card at once. Exactly. It's still just for one person to go to cinema. Totally. So what does it matter who yeah, it is? Yeah, it's like I bought your ticket and you yeah, just went so, yeah. Oh. Totally. Um, but anyway, yeah. How was that last right anyway? It was fantastic. Yeah. I real this that brilliant like I just I love mm-hmm. That's the question itself. Do you like your space movies? I love my space movies. You will love Ad Astra. Okay. <laughs> I love The Martian. That was a great Martian is, s- is similar to that. I mean. it, it, it's uh, a new age version of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Oh, that yeah. isn't yeah. as long, isn't as drawn out, and with no interval. Mm-hmm. And not as weird. And not as, yeah. I'm not going <laughs> so going the Space Odyssey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> going in there, I was like, another space movie. Like, I'm, I'm sick of them. Because I always feel like they're kind of the same. Yeah. And it was so different. Yeah. And so yeah. unique. And first like, Man was the other one last year. First, Ryan Gosling. first Man was good as really well. Good. Like, it's not that I like I hate space movies, I like them. But it's just I feel like there's quite a lot of them and mm-hmm. they're all get kinda of like the similar themes, obviously because they're in space, but yeah. Like, yeah, they have to do certain things. One I heard that was quite similar to this sort of standard yeah. space movie thing was Gravity. I never saw Gravity it. Gravity was good though as well. I've liked everyone I've seen, but it's just that it's like uh, I heard a lot of bad things about it. 
so I never bothered. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like you know, I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was really interesting, like a like futuristic kind of themes. Yeah, and it was just. I mean, it of, felt it felt very real, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Like that's really, that that was after once I came out, I was like, you know what? I could, you could actually see that happening and <laughs> and a bit scary. I'm yeah, really, and because of that. Uh-huh. I really yeah. liked how they had like the the station and like space, and I yeah. had like Applebee's and Subway. Yeah. I, maybe from a marketing point of view, that yeah. I just thought I was. That was funny. It was, yeah. it was, it like, could, of course yeah. that would happen. Of course, yeah. like Subway would want their first like first yeah. restaurant in space. Mm-hmm. You know, they've just paid the movie as well, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, like, I just I think that's yeah. But it was like brilliant. It, it was that. really tense was the whole way the through point, as well, which I was. It was like his dad, who's like trying to find aliens mm. on um, Neptune, Jupiter, Jupiter. So no, 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 having a whale of a thing mm-hmm. like making hotels and restaurants and that and then it's like, set a wee bit in the future and there's like yeah. create a world up there okay yeah yeah so, so it's, it's like colonizing planets so yeah there's, so there's like an air well a spaceport on the moon but it's basically like spaceport. an airport okay. so when he arrives there he takes like a shuttle from earth i think a commercial shuttle and then right. gets to the airport and it's like there's an escalator on the moon and stuff and there's a subway and all that it's, yeah it's pretty yeah, good up and then like he isn't allowed to go on the spaceship to get to, to Neptune to, to see his dad who's apparently yeah. still alive he thought he, would, he died years ago he sneaks onto the ship and they go up and, and he ends up I don't want to spoil it but he ends up seeing his dad and I won't tell you what happens but um, on Neptune with his dad who's played by Tommy Lee Jones who was excellent great. That, like he played because his dad's kind of gone a little bit mad because he's, he's like a hermit now he's been on his own it, uh, was it like 20 years I think it's like 30, 30, 30, 30 years 16? or something like crazy like, um, he's I'm been on his 16. own like literally the furthest human out from earth for about 30 years and he's gone mad and Tommy Lee Jones played that perfectly I thought, thought he was it was fantastic who's yeah. Tommy Lee Jones what does he play he was in uh, what else was he in no Country for Old Men. He was in Men in Black, you would have seen him in that. The Fugitive, Which Lincoln. Character, Men in Black. The older guy. <laughs> oh, really? That's him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. good. I like him. He's a very good actor, and he's been around for a long time. You know, come to think of it, he's the guy that's in Event Horizon, not the Jurassic Park guy. <laughs> 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 just get them mixed yeah. up. Sam Neill. They look yeah. kind of similar. <laughs> little, little bit, I guess. If Sam Neill had massive eyebrows. Yeah. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I was right the first time. I can't even remember now. But well, Ad Astra I definitely recommended to check out to not only Sal who's sitting across the table from yep, me, but yeah. you out there listening, go check it out, it's really cool. Uh, other films that we've seen recently, uh, I know myself and Frambo here have saw a film all about the alligator community by the name of Crawl. Loved it. Like, loved it? I actually loved it, man. It's a film so about class. the alligator community. The alligator community. Do you mean, is that people that like alligators? Or is that no, alligators? no, alligators themselves. I say that because on the poster for it, it's, the tagline is like a quote from like a newspaper saying like, Crawl does for alligators what Jaws did for sharks. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's like, it's basically, there's a, this wee hurricane mm-hmm. and uh, a girl goes to try and find her dad who is like working under, in like the basement of this house that has been flooded because of the hurricane and she goes down, she tries to get him, he's like stuck down there and tries to get him. And all the water from this hurricane comes into the basement. They're kind of getting trapped and mm-hmm. drowning in there. As soon as they go to get out, mm. this alligator comes in and they're like trapped between the alligator and the outside. But the hurricane's still going on, so it's like they're pretty much trapped in there forever and they need to try to find their way to get out. It's really cool. And more like alligators swarm them. It's just like really tense. So it's like, I just love them. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. yeah. So yeah. There's, there's a jumpy bits, yeah. Okay, cool. I yeah, really love like, I love them. And like, I thought it was so tense the whole way. Uh, it was just a simple movie, just try to get out your house, really. But yeah, like, trying to get out your house. Try to get out your house, that's what it should be called. Yeah. Try to get out your house, Mind because there's alligators there. <laughs> Mind them um, in, in <laughs> March of 2018 when we had all the snow. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was like the worst snow in our lifetime ever, and we couldn't leave the house. It was like that, so imagine that, but alligators. But it was well, alligators Instead of snow. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of snow. No, the snow was still there. Oh, right, okay. But, uh, oh, what, yeah. what, would be, what would be a snow creature? A snowman. A panda. No. Uh, what? Not a panda. A polar bear. <laughs> a panda. No, not a panda. <laughs> yeah, a polar bear. Panda. Yeah. panda. <laughs> you know what you, you, know what you did there? You, you, you thought polar bear and penguin and sort of morphed it to any one, so like a black and white bear thing. Panda. Not panda. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we'd, we'd recommend crawl. Speaking of pandas, know. they've shot that bit of the zoo right now because it's they're going back to China soon. Oh, oh really? Yeah, so they're trying to make them have a baby at the last minute so that they can keep the baby. I'm like, come on! Yeah, <laughs> go. They've shot it all to the public. You can't go to just playing romantic music in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> playing love songs. Imagine it was your job to try and get pandas to fuck. 
And until I'm next time, when I get that podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the horse one. There's people do the horses. I'm just like, no, no chance. Is that a horse whisperer? No, no. it's a horse Why stimulator. Do? This conversation's been this conversation's been slightly <laughs> derailed a bit. Yeah, get back onto movies. Alligators, horses, pandas. Oh, I like how we went from alligators to people stimulating horses. Yeah, that's great. Or the same thing. Why the long face? Why the long? <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, crawl. Very good. Any other films that we've been watching recently? Uh, oh no. <laughs> Titan horse stimulator. <laughs> <laughs> what came up? Uh, a horse stimulator. <laughs> a horse stimulator. Is it just, is it just a picture of Sal? So we stand this. Ah oh, dear, that just scared me for. <laughs> um, put horses. Let's put horses. Anything else you've been seeing? The only other thing I've seen recently was The Lion King, but I know you've talked about that on a previous. That's episode. what did you think? I loved it. I thought it was great. Obviously, just a complete remake of the first one. There's not much to say about it. Is it scene for scene? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Just from a technical point of view, it's a stunning film to watch. Like I was just sitting watching it the whole Mm. time, thinking, "Wow, this looks. This just looks." You want to talk about looking real, though? Yeah. It's just. I made the the point to them that said, "See if you'd shown this film to someone like 20 years ago, they would think it was real life." That's how good it is. It's it's crazy. I heard that Aladdin's really good as well. Yeah, Aladdin's good. Mm. Aladdin was good. I've done scene for scene as well. Yeah, I've not seen it, but better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, Uh, well, that's the thing. A lot of people went into it with bad expectations. Yeah, just because of Will Smith. Yeah, (laughs) but he (laughs) picks up. He makes it. He he was the standard. Absolutely, he was really good. Hilarious. He was really good. And the songs are great. And they kind of modernized the songs a wee bit, didn't they? A wee bit, yeah. And um, I mean, it's still good songs. Yeah, the original songs are brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Um, He's not Robin Williams, but he's yeah. He does it differently. He does it in a Will Smith way. So he he puts his own take on it. Yeah, it's it's cool. What's uh, Graham? What's your favorite film you've seen recently? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was good. That was oh, fantastic. That was good. It was yes. good. Well, that, yeah. What did you it's think so of that? <laughs> yeah, no, well done. <laughs> we, we, we talked about it on, on the good bit in the last episode, but I didn't speak to you guys about it. What did you think of the new Tarantino? It was excellent. Yeah. You know, I came out of it not thinking that, but on reflection, I was like, yeah, that was yeah. good. And I, I liked just the whole kind of, the, the way he set the scene, the atmosphere was just all, like the whole time you're just like, what is going on? It's like the next scene, you just didn't have no yeah. idea. I, I, I loved it because... Um, I, I read up a bit on like the sort of history and the time period that it's set in and all the stuff that was going around about that time there. So I was like right into all that, going to watch it. So I, I quite enjoyed it because of that. And I'm I, think what, I think what he did was it. very clever. Yeah. Because basically what he did was what would happen if Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio's characters were real people. Yeah. What would happen? What would be the outcome of that? Yeah. So yeah, like how it would change real life. Basically, they, yeah, they yeah. saved Sarah Taylor. Yeah, which is yeah. Sharon Taylor. Yeah, Sharon Taylor. You, 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 that annoys me when you say that. The Sarah Taylor. Sarah Taylor. Because that's why I liked Inglorious Bastards so much. Because that was again the same thing. What yeah. would happen in real life if Quentin Tarantino's characters existed? Yeah. And obviously that film Finch that was, and it was that was insane. Like that blew my mind. That film. So then this was the same. So I, I really liked it because of that. Inglorious Bastards deserves another watch for me. I think so I'm the good. same, yeah. I've been so long. I've seen it. Yeah. I've only seen it with that. Oh, Brilliant. Brilliant. I've, I've got a wee Easter egg for you. Do you remember in that scene when they're trying to speak Italian? Yeah. And he's the, the main German guy is like asking them, uh, oh, what's your name? And he keeps getting to repeat it. He goes, Antonio Margheriti. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah. says it like four or five times, but he's obviously just messing with him. Yeah, yeah. See, in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, when there's like one of the wee montages of like all the films, uh, DiCaprio's been yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. One of the films was directed by Antonio Margheriti. Nice. Which I thought was, that was so cool. I spotted that, like, that. I was like, oh, it's so cool. And that like such a Tarantino thing. Yeah, though. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, All the yeah. references to the Wild West as well. Yeah. Like, once upon a time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought, I, I, yeah. I thought it was like a good mashup of like most of these films all put into one. I quite liked it. Crazy. It was good. Yeah. I thought Leonardo DiCaprio in Once Time in Hollywood was just insane. Oh, like, I yeah. thought he was uh-huh. brilliant. Like, even when he's playing a bad actor. Yeah. He believed he was a bad actor. Oh, that's yeah. so good. Yeah. And then he just he would just swap swap and like yeah. talk as if he was like the real person, like or just a real person act, asking like for direction. And he would be like, "Oh, that's good again." So that that like, scene where he does the monologue and the wee girl goes, "That was the best acting I've ever seen." And he's like all chuffed and proud of himself. Yeah. Yeah. That is just and it's so good. Yeah. And I just I always I spoke about this in the last episode, but who cares? Um, when the hippies or whatever the Manson family yeah. come into the house 
and they just absolutely like murder them brutally. It's yeah. the I most... was like laughing out loud yeah. for so hilarious. long. Yeah. I think it's the most uncomfortable I've ever felt watching someone getting murdered. Yeah. It's crazy. It was just, just the way they were getting killed. The amount of times he smacks her head off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, it was like brutal. <laughs> Even by Tarantino standards, it was a it brutal was the, murder. The which, dog can. Yeah. Like the, oh, yeah. they launches the dog yeah. can. Like, yeah. They just <laughs> And and she's it, still, like, it more than made up for not having any of that throughout the film. Throughout the film, because typically, yeah. like, like in *Glorious Bastards*, is like mad stuff happening all the way through the film. But this one, like, there were scenes where you were waiting and thinking something was going to happen, then yeah. it just doesn't. That's what I the loved bit, about the bit it. where Brad Pitt's like on the Manson Ranch. And oh, he goes into the house, you think something's going to happen, then it's not. He just walks away. The guy's all right. And like, so you're left well, after those scenes, like actually breathing with that, like, yeah, oh, something could have happened there and it didn't. But yeah, then the end of the film, because he beats up that guy. Yeah, but that's like, yeah. that's not much really. Yeah. Uh, compared to the end, end compared yeah. to the end in any way and it just all happens at the end oh, that, I loved it I had a flamethrower flamethrower <laughs> flame <laughs> yeah I got my flamethrower as soon as he went to the shed I was like oh you're yeah. fucking good he goes to the end and then at the end when he's talking to what's, what's, what's his name I can't even make his name the guy's might be the I don't know he's the power of the director and he gets to the gate and Aye. he's like Oh, what happened? He's like, oh, the flamethrower he's, he's like, oh, the one from your movie he's like, is everybody okay? he goes well, the, the damn hippies aren't. They're yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, crazy. I film. thought it was fantastic. I want, I want to go see it again. Yeah, me too. Once. Um, what I, you reminded me there when we were talking about when like something's happening in the film, but nothing really comes of it until the end. And mm-hmm. by the end, you're like, that was great. I just yeah. needed it to finish first. Reminded me of Ad Astra. I'm sitting there watching Brad Pitt walking ever so slowly on the moon. Mm-hmm. And I'm that. What about that scene when the cars on the moon? When yeah, they're like shooting each other. So cool. That was crazy. That was really cool. But um, in dark way, side of the moon stuff. Dark side of the moon. We Pink Floyd reference. I don't know. Um, but there's like usual space movement, right? In any space film, when like someone's walking really slowly, because of course you're in space. And I remember sitting there watching Ad Astra, just being like, "This is like quite slow, and like I'm not enjoying this as much." And then it clicked with me because, like, every space film is like that, apart from, say, Star Wars or something, mm-hmm. where everything's slowed down and everything's kind of done so properly because yeah. it's supposed to be, like, if we were living in space, how would it be? If you were in space, how would you need to move? Mm-hmm. It's that sort of relatability sort it's of like thing. like being in mainland Europe, everyone walks so slow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> everyone was big, big to the <laughs> But I thought then, in, in, in Ad Astra, they built the world in that really well. That's like, what I mean. You, you believe, that's what I'm saying, going back to saying how you believe that it was so real. Yeah. Like, I they're, they're just, they're just, that's, that's they're, that's they're just flying through space and they'll just come across a wee spaceship because yeah. that's what it's like. Is when you drive down the street and there's just a car park. Yeah, that's kind of what it's like. And yeah. you can imagine that's what it'd be like in the future. And then by the end of Ad Astra, I was like, holy god, that was great because, yeah. like, even though at the time I was kind of questioning it, it was the same with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I was like, yeah. that was one of the best films of the whole year because it all adds up. You mm-hmm. know, going to that point about things like peaking right, right at the end. I don't want to like not right at the end, but like you know. That they kind of thought about. I don't know if you've not all seen it, but the Hateful Eight was kind of like Hateful Eight is like my number two favorite Tarantino film. I think it's my favorite. I th- yeah. I th- I th- yeah, I still think that's my favorite over. It beat Once Upon a Time. Oh, see, Pulp Fiction just gets yeah. a wee bit for me. Django's but up there for me. Django, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's I've not seen uh, Hateful Eight, but I'd say Django is my favorite. Django's really good. Yeah. I think Django just... was my favorite until I saw the. Oh, oh Hateful Eight is your problem. Oh, it's so good. Hateful I would definitely go see. Let's watch it together. Yeah, no, I want to see it. I need to see it again. If, if you have I'm a movie night here at Mumble Studios, I'll come over and I'd love to watch it every yeah. night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, I think we're done. I mean, if we get any, any other films no. to chat about, Graham? Well, well what will be ones we're looking forward to seeing? No, speaking about that, Graham, That's come good on. Show. Good question. The next one that is literally coming out next week. Big one. Joker. 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 Yeah. That's that the looks so good. I can't wait for oh, that. that really the, 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 the way they've done it is really cool. See, I was wasn't looking forward to it. I saw yeah. the trailer and saw that they went kind of more real, mm-hmm. realistic, and I was like, "This is going to be great." I thought they were just going to do the exact same thing as they've done like the previous yeah. things. Yeah. I was like, eh. See, I might be setting myself up to get disappointed because I'm expecting it to be the Dark Knight level of yeah. I am. You might well. be the throne <laughs> legend. I know. No. No. Yeah, not not so much. Enough. Not so much the Joker from the Dark Knight. I just mean like. Yeah, if the Dark Knight was a film about the Joker instead of yeah. Batman, we could be that kind of level. No, I'm just saying that level of how good I think Jackie Phoenix. I don't know if he pronounces his name, but I think it's Wacky. Jack, Jack, I don't know. I think it's Wacky. I think he's going to be really good. I'm really looking forward to yeah. seeing. I like how it's totally like outside of the Batman universe. It's this own separate story. Yeah, I'm glad of that as well. Um, 
it's going to be great yeah. that one but this year has been the most insane year for films ever in my lifetime anyway because the amount of big films that came out but also the amount of sequels that have come out yeah. like when you were younger we just admire Toy Story so much and just randomly in 2019 we have Toy Story Feck and 4 yeah. you know what I mean which was that great. was really good as so well great so out. funny yeah. saw it in yeah. the DX it was great I was crying <laughs> with laughter in that just the scene when the car like were you not steaming when you went to see I was a little drunk but <laughs> <laughs> I was like stopping hey, and the start toys the car. were talking look at the toy no but it's when the, it's when the, 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 the police comes up to the car and he like wraps the window and yeah, he yeah. Goes, could you please open or oh, please stop the car yeah. <laughs> that, was so that, was really, that was really good no I uh, this year has been really good yeah the yeah. Green Book is the other we've probably spoken about. Oh my it, god. Love, love I love it. Baby. I wouldn't know that not knowing a clue would have I knew the name of it and that was it and yeah. I loved it. I it think it's so my film of the year. I, I, was, just the same. Same. I was the same as well. I nope. didn't went and I just loved it. The only thing that will beat that for film of the Oh well no, Avengers has beat that for film of the year. But the only thing that will beat Avengers will be Star Wars. Star Wars in Star December. Wars. Star Star Wars. Wars. Oh my god, I can't wait. Yeah. If you see all the powers you're gonna be like, man, oh, oh, oh what is it? What is that? <laughs> I can tell you right now what my top five is going to be. It's going to be Once Upon a Time yeah. in Hollywood, Green Book, Avengers, Star Wars, and Joker. Joker. Possibly. You know, it could be, um, what's the other great one this year? I don't know. my top five. Um, Crawl might be in my top five. Crawl, really? No, no, no. It's not it's pronounced no. um, trying to get out your house, but there's alligators. Alligators. There's alligators. Uh, uh, in the way. Sorry. Yesterday, <laughs> I think it was yesterday. Yesterday was good. What else did I say? Uh, Green Book. Uh, Green Book. Fighting with my family. Yeah, Great film. Good one for rest. rest. I don't know if it came out this year, but I saw it this year. It was a Black KK Klansman. Oh, that was year. last year, big great film. Great film. That, well, yeah. that was in my top five. I think and that's another one to rewatch as well. Just this one, when you watch it at the time and you're just like, holy god. Yeah. I think it's a lot the, to take the podcast that I did about that film, I just called hard hitting films because <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. just like, oh. You know, so I think Greenwood could fit into that. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. was a few like Detroit. That was a mad film. That was really good. It's crazy. That was I fun. wanted to see that. Film. I yeah, was the most, yeah. He was really good. Mm-hmm. I loved that film. I bought it as soon as it came out in Blue, but I've not watched it since. So that's I really like Detroit as well. Can I ask, are you more excited for episode 9 than you were for episode 7 coming out? Because I think I am. No. no. Um, <laughs> but the whole point of episode 7 literally being my favourite film of all time period yeah. was because of the build up. I've heard you say this before. You know what I mean? Because it was your first Star Wars proper in the cinema. Yeah, like and I was like, that's it. So now, episode 8 I loved as well, but it just wasn't as, as big for me. Yeah. This one feels big because it's the last one. And we've now got these mad random teasers in the trailer. Yeah. And you're like, how is this going to be think, done? I think this one feels bigger for me because it's like the conclusion to my first Star Wars set, like, yep. trilogy mm-hmm. in yeah, the yeah, cinema. Yeah. Actually, maybe it is. My, like, I really like Return of the Jedi. Like, I think that's my. F- well, no, was it the what was the last one? Jedi. Last Jedi. Last Jedi. That was. I think that's my favorite one. Uh-huh. Yeah. I love that movie. I love Last Jedi. And too. that one, I was really excited for the first one. Now I'm thinking about it. I was so set on that it was going to be rubbish. Mm-hmm. I was so set that I, I remember going to see with you. I, remember going to I was like, I'm not going to like this. I just had it in my head, I'm mm-hmm. not going to, and I loved it. Yeah. And then the second one, I was like, I liked the last one, so I'm going to like this one. Loved it, loved it even more. Like, I think it's one of my favourite movies ever. And I think this one, I'm like, I know what they can do. They've had two really good ones. Mm-hmm. This one's going to blow them out the no, water. Yeah, I think it's one I'm looking forward to I think the old one's the best out of the new ones. Yeah, that's my. Opinion. I would agree with you on that. I think maybe from a from a film making point of view, nah, absolutely. But I just, I mean, I last can't get past that movie, man. Close away from the last year. Um, Solo as well a shout out to Solo yeah. a lot of people didn't like it but see, really like if you it. shut off your brain and you want some Star Wars oh my god yes, it's perfect exactly. Rogue I One it was great. Rogue One I loved that, that's yeah, that so we, just, we just said that Solo we said before that. That. no before that we said we mentioned Rogue One did you? did yeah. you just miss that completely? missed that completely <laughs> <laughs> you're still just like oh that's Jedi <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about that Jedi I think or maybe um, Ray oh Ray could be that <laughs> wonder if she'll do this time I wonder if she'll turn on Finn What's going to happen with Kylo, I think, a.k.a. Ben Solo? I think, that's a, I think that's a dream, I don't think that's actually real. Oh my god, I don't know what's happening, I man. I think it's a dream as well. A vision. Maybe a This is what you could be. Though. Also, thing is back, what's could. his face? Darth Maul? What are they going to do with that? Was that not in uh, Rogue no, One? No, that's because after no, Rogue One. after no. Solo's set, there's like a TV show where Darth Maul shows up, so that was, that was explained Solo. that. He's oh. not just going to turn up in episode 9. Oh, by the way, we've reason. not chatted about this at all on the... on the. We've not chatted about this at all on the channel or the podcast. But Ewan McGregor is returning as Obi-Wan. I was just about to say that. And a TV show. Series? Oh, that is going to be great. He is my favourite Star Wars character, is Ewan McGregor. He was the best Obi-Wan. thing about the prequels. Some would say that, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> I all, thought so. All the dialogue from Revenge of the Sith. Or that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I thought, uh, it's going to be great because he's my favourite in, in 
we're getting a proper series. I love when characters yeah. go back to old or actors go back to old characters. And it's going to be set after episode three as well. It's not like three years after it or something, or six years after it. So mm-hmm. very interesting. Speaking of new series, uh, the ga- the not Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings. That's coming out. Soon. That's coming out soon as well. Coming, yeah. I feel like twenty twenty is going to be the year for the TV shows. It could be good. Or the streaming shows. Yeah. After the disappointment of the final season of Game of Thrones, hopefully. They let's, not, not, let's not talk about it. I really liked it, <laughs> apart from the stupid dragon episode. I think that's probably a whole other podcast episode. Yeah, yeah. careful yeah. spoilers. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I heard that was kind of um. Uh, yeah. Of what No, no. See, I'm a fan of it. I did like it. I don't know. There was only a few few bits I didn't like. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. And the Breaking Bad movie is coming out soon. El Camino. Yes. Yes. Ne- yes. Next week or something? No, next two Is it? That's it? No, no, it's November. It's November, I think. Mm-hmm. Is it? Don't know. Don't know, but it's soon. Yeah. And it's uh, Aaron Paul's going to be. Aaron Paul. Paul. See, I wish we'd be able to see that in the cinema. It's annoying that it's just totally. on Netflix. Totally. Absolutely. Oh, what is it on? Is it? No, it's on Netflix. It's original Netflix special. I don't know. Netflix, Telling you now that Disney Plus is coming out in 2020, it's going to be like look, the cinema will take a back seat. You yeah, know, no, 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 no. The cinema is still where you go to watch films. Absolutely, but, but what I mean is like the main sort of like everybody we're talking about shows and the most money will be paid on shows. Have yeah. you seen the movie list for the Disney thing? No, it looks really good. There's a yeah. lot of good movies. Lots of the Marvel shows coming yeah, out and stuff. All of them. Yeah. It'll be all the Marvel films, all the Star Wars, all the all Disney, the old stuff. Yeah. Disney picks on. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be a big year. So hold on to your seats, ladies and gents. Right. That will do us for today's episode. Thank mm-hmm. you very much, boys, for joining me. No problem. Thank you very much, Grim, for joining us. Yep. Did, you have a fun, well. did you have a fun time, Grim? Goodbye. You can come back anything, G. <laughs> cool. Don't um, call him G. Sorry. That'll make him think he's like a gangster or something. <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to raise this boy right. We're going to get a gold chain for him. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Young Grim, thank you very much for your time. Oh, we should, we should probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, and until the next time, ladies <laughs> and gents, uh, this is, oh, before we go, you want to talk about any upcoming gigs you've got? Oh yeah, we're playing on the twenty sixth of October in Glasgow. Yeah, we're yeah, the night before in Glasgow. That'll be quite fun well. actually, because it's meant to be a Halloween gig, so we're getting dressed up as zombies for it. Nice, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, uh, those mad contact lenses, like the white yeah. ones, they'd be cool. Nice. Leo and Sal obviously do the theme song and the soundtrack to not only the good bit but also CM Forty Two TV. So if you like the song at the start or the end of the show or any of the songs you hear on the YouTube channel, give them a shout. Um, social media, where can they find? Just search taped live on anything. We're there. <laughs> taped live on anything. You hear the here first, yes. ladies and gents. Frambo, when's your next gig? Um, uh, <laughs> right it's a now. Secret. It's a secret. <laughs> right now. I have one of these secret gigs, you know. You uh, just turn up and a silent gig. Performance. Is it just you in your room just singing yourself? <laughs> No, <laughs> it's the show. <laughs> the show. It's the show. Nice. Okay, the ladies and gents, thank you very much for listening. Remember to check out some more episodes and podcasts here on the podcast feed. I guess you call it. Anywhere you get your podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, of course, the CM Forty Two TV, and on there we got lots of videos every single day, reaction videos, podcasts, movie reviews, and everything in between. So until next time, thank you very much for listening to the Good Bit Podcast. This has been episode fifty-seven. Recognize.